For many, their introduction to the Affordable Care Act has been negative. A broken website and now cancellation notices from insurance companies, followed by sticker shock over higher prices for the new plans. It's directly at odds with repeated assurances from the president. If you like your insurance plan, you will keep it. No one will be able to take that away from you. But people across the country are finding out they're losing their existing insurance plans under Obamacare. That's because requirements in the law, like prenatal and prescription drug coverage, mean their old plans aren't comprehensive enough. In California, Kaiser Permanente terminated policies for 160,000 people. In Florida, at least 300,000 people are losing coverage. When I got this bill, I was outraged. That includes 56-year-old Diane Barrett. Last month, she received a letter from Blue Cross Blue Shield informing her as of January 2014 she would lose her current plan. Barrett pays $54 a month. The new plan she's being offered would run $591 a month, 10 times more than what she currently pays. What I have right now is what I'm happy with, and I just want to know why I can't keep what I have. Why do I have to be forced into something else? Now, it's important to point out that according to healthcare.gov, Diane is eligible for some subsidies, but she told us she has no idea what the subsidies would be because, of course, guess what? She can't log on to the website. That is an issue, of course, that Secretary uh, Kathleen Sebelius is sure to be asked about, Charlie and Nora, when she testifies on Capitol Hill on Wednesday. Great reporting, Jan. Thank you. And